out through November 11th, the Central Valley Blue Star Moms are putting together care packages for local members of the military who will be serving overseas or away from home during the holiday season, and you can help. Yeah, joining us to talk about their donation drive is the president of the Central Valley Blue Star Moms, Lisa Bailey. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning. How are you doing this morning? And also tell us a little bit about the donation drive and how long people can donate. Well, um, I'm doing wonderful. Thank you for having us. And um, the drive is going on. Um, we kick it off with our golf tournament, which just passed on September 14th, and it goes through November 11th. Um, you can donate by um, giving us goods. The, the military personnel around the world want a piece of home. So a piece of home would be in the form of like some beef jerky, um, tuna packages. Um, they love the individual drink packages because just think about it. They're out there in conditions they can't have ice water. The only thing that makes their water better is that little package that, of flavor that we send them. And how did you guys get started with this effort and kind of what brought about the idea? Well, Blue Star Moms has actually been around since 1942. It was a war effort in order to raise the morale of the troops. Our specific um, chapter has been here since 2005, and all of our moms are, um, we have active military um, personnel children or veterans now. And what kind of items, I know you talked about beef jerky, but what are some items that people should not drop off or ones that you guys really like to give to the troops that are overseas? So please don't drop off any perishable items, only non-perishable items. Um, they do like something that, that you could drop off is black or white socks, white t-shirts, um, like we spoke, the beef jerky, hard candy, any leftover Halloween candy that you wanna take away from your, sneak from your child. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, stuff like that, cards, decks of cards, um, black ink pens actually is a hot commodity, um, no, small notepads, a lot of things like that, and toiletry items as well. Lisa, can you talk to us a little bit about what the feeling is like for you all uh, to be able to send these care packages out to the troops? How does it feel? Well, it kind of fills my heart with joy, really, because, you know, I don't get to see my kid um, and military moms around the world, you know, maybe... 12 days out of the year, if you're lucky, you get to see your kid. And um, yeah, they're grown, but they're still your kids. So it's very, it fills my heart to get the pictures back from not only my child, but children around the world that um, it brings a smile to their face. And not just for you guys, but also for those troops, right? I mean, I had a cousin that was over in Afghanistan and when they would get a package like this, it meant so much. So can you talk about your own experience in terms of you know, your child over there and just what this means to them when they receive something from home? So my child um, currently is deployed. So um, right now for him to get packages from us, it's like um, sleeping in his own bed at night is kind of like the, the comparison. You know, you're away from home. You don't get to see anything or feel anything or smell anything that is from home. But when you get these packages, it brings those senses back to you and his um, troops, you know, because I don't know if you know this, but one package equals about 15 people get something because everybody lines up to grab something out of mom's box. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Wow. <laughs> that's amazing. Well, again, you can drop off donations until the 11th. For those that would like to help, we will have a link on our website, yourcentralvalley.com. On your screen right now are things that they are looking for, including those non-perishable snacks, toiletries, small recreational items, and monetary donations. They will be accepted now through November.